What's going on? YouTube is Donnie B all day, bringing you something that was sent to me that I've been waiting to get to, but the weather has not been cooperating. We're doing a little better now on the outside, so we are going to get this thing rolling. I uh, had this thing sent to me, right? This was sent by a guy who bought one and he wanted to see the thing put through the works. This is uh, Big Brody over at Wisconsin Edge, um, another knife reviewer. This guy loves big blades. He's he's a brother of blade. Absolutely check Big Brody out. One thing I got to say I'm jealous over though is with Big Brody here. So at the gym, I go in there and I, I get my workout in and I lift hard and I, I lift heavy. And I, that's how I get them big, beautiful biceps, right? But here's the thing. I, I went in there and I my max weight ever, ever that I pulled on a dumbbell curl just curling a dumbbell was 95 pound dumbbell and if you've ever curled any kind of weight where you stand up and you raw you go raw you just pick up from down here all the way to up here one single weight 95 pounds that's my max that's all i ever lifted i never tried 100 because 95 wanted me to poop my soul right but i, I look over at big brody here I say here because I actually have him up there on the on the old interweb. But I, I look at Big Brody and the dude's doing sit down concentration, hundred curls, hundred pound curls, sit down concentrations. Oh, Wisconsin Edge. Check him out, man. Brody's a good dude. And Brody sent me this knife. Sent me this knife. And uh this is from Sawmill Cutlery. And it's the Arkansas Bowie, right? And uh so it's the Arkansas Bowie and it's A-R-K-N-Saw, right? So Arkansas. Um, and he bought one for himself and he liked it. And he thought, Ew, I want to see what this guy thinks of it. So here you go. And my first impression was of the Cisco Carbon Bowie. That's exactly what this brings to mind when you hold it now looking at the sheath you can see it is leather it does have a dangler it smells like leather it must be leather right it's a it's a hard sheath a lot like the um the cisco's right and uh the dangler actually works you know it, it does a fine job and being a big buoy you don't need a um a clamp a strap but it's always good because it holds it to your leg and keeps it from, from bowing this and that. But it works. Everything about the sheath works. It's not horribly done. It's not something that you'd spend a bunch of money on the sheath. Um, but it definitely, definitely works. Now let's get into this blade. So first thing I noticed was this right here. That uh, Jim Frost um, over at Frost Cutlery made a living out of handles just like this and he called it frost wood and what it was is a, a bunch of different colors of wood glued together to make plywood and then you start contouring that plywood and all the different colors come through and it looks just like this so with jim frost they called it um frost wood here i don't know if they have a different it just says multi-color wood handle so that would be about it so this thing reminds me so much of the Cisco blade. I mean, so much of the Cisco blade. So at first glance, you're going to say, oh, it's a rasp file. No, no, no. Um, it's an imitation file, which I think is kind of a cool trick that they did. They wanted to make it look like a ground down file. So what they did is they just dug in these lines here, right? But you'll notice that there's no cross lines. A file is not smooth like this there would be um there would be cross lines right so what they did here is they just did a really cool trick they made the eye see rasp file and you're thinking wow tool steel that's great this thing's got to be strong as hell and i have to say if it's anything like the cisco it's going to be strong as hell um and it is a it is a carbon based blade this isn't stainless steel this is a, a carbon blade just like the Cisco. So I can see where I'm going to fit into this knife and why I'm going to like it. Um, I already know 
uh, I already know the knife. You know, we all know the knife from the Cisco blade. It's pretty much the same thing, except not as raw. This uses tricks and eye play and some beauty to make it happen. It even has the same size pins. It has the um, the undersized pins um, as the Cisco. It's got the same handguard as the Cisco. It's I believe it's all the same shape. Nine and a half inch blade, 14, seven eighth overall. Um, it says that the sheath is brown. To me, I thought it was black. No, it's brown. All right, so I thought it was black, but that is a brown sheath. Oh, now it's black. Okay, so so it's brown brown leather sheath. Uh, it says file file tool steel blade, but um, saying file tool and being file tool are two different things. This is definitely made to look like a file. I don't know how many people have seen a two and a half inch file. You know what I mean? Files aren't generally that thick anyway. Um, but uh, I like the I like the way they I like the way they did this. I, I really do. Um, I think that's just a, a great effect. So let's see. You got the brass guard. You have it says lanyard hole, but there is no lanyard hole on here. And as a matter of fact, it's pretty funny because there's no lanyard hole on the photo that they give you online either. And there's no lanyard hole inside there. So I think when they were, um, when they were going over everything, they just put that in there. Uh, let's see, brass guard and triple rivets blade. Okay. So that's it. That's all it says on there. Um, is it sharp? It feels pretty sharp. Let's see how sharp it is. So let's see. It's not shave sharp, but that doesn't mean it's not cut stuff sharp. So I did break a couple hairs. It's definitely not shave sharp. Um, I really like that they made this look rugged. I, I like it. Like you can see little um, right there, little divots, little pimples and stuff. Um, I like that. I think making it look as raw as possible um, improves upon like where the Cisco is just raw, but it's not made to look raw. It's just raw. This one is refined, but made to look raw. So I, I, if you understand what that means, I think that's a really cool thing. I like that. And the frost wood here, that's just really nice, man. That's, that's really well done. That's pretty. It's a, a little thick without a lot of contouring. It could Definitely, definitely use more contouring. You can look at this. It's just almost a straight line. There's barely a bow here. And if there was, you'd see more of the, the wood coloration coming through. So one thing I might do is just recontour that handle a little bit. And all that would do was it would give more of the actual pattern, right? So even if I just did grooves right here, finger grooves coming around, doing little wells, I think that would be cool. Um, as far as weight in the hand, it feels really good. It feels really good as far as weight. Um, it's a fighting buoy. We all know that all large buoys are fighting knives. All of them. Every single large buoy is a fighting knife, but it's also a survival tool. So let's go outside and see what kind of survival we could have happen with this thing. All right, let's start over here at the wet and cold log pile. Do some four foot drops and see how straight it falls, even in the big wind. I don't see a problem because of its size. Ugh. It should do A-OK, -okay. and it does. Do a couple hard downward throws and we'll see how these uh, handle scales and brass handguard hold on. Wow, wow, that's got some good bite. That was a solid hit. Oh my gosh, that is solid. You see how far in that is? Oh my God. That is a heavier stump than the old stump. I'll tell you that. Oh man, that has got some crazy, crazy bite to it. Let's see here. Get a little pry action. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can't scan. There we go. As I'm falling over here, 
put this thing down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I even out of the picture now? So, it does all that joyously. Joyously. All right, so let's get a nice little dig. So that's like just barely tapping it. Look at the bite on this thing. That's a swing. And look at look at how deep that is. That's crazy right there. That's actually really nice. That's actually really nice. Let's see if we can cut through some nylon rope. Some nylon rope. And okay, so the edge definitely needs to be refined. Am I cutting the rope? I am cutting the rope. Um, is it cutting smoothly and cleanly? No. Does that matter on a giant fighting buoy? Absolutely not because it's still going to do all that. So let's find something that we can try and baton through. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get logging. All right. So uh, I don't mean like Kenny logging. I mean logging. Logging. All right, let's see. His blade is big enough to get around this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was actually a lot easier than I thought because this is wet wood. And it shouldn't have been that easy. There we go. There we go. Arkansas buoy. And guys, this is a budget knife. This is budget, right? Don't tell that to the blade. The blade doesn't know. Nobody, nobody sent the blade the memo saying, hey, you're not supposed to be able to do good stuff because you're budget. Well, that budget blade is a chopping blade. And I'm going to be using that firewood. Let's see. Once I dry it, look at that. This thing, it's like... It's like having an ax in your hand. Wow. Look at that, I found some. So all those little spots, that's from these worms, right? Look at that little guy was hiding in there. Wow, that little guy was just hiding in there. Well, and now there's two of them. All right, so that's kind of cool. All that worm wood. All right, so. That's cool. This thing, this thing definitely gets that done. Definitely gets that done. All right, so. Try to do this by holding it up. So, we can definitely, and without a doubt, get us some nice, remember this is wet wood, so it's a little harder, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. I am shaving. I'm going to pick them all up now. Pick them all up now. What I'm doing is I'm getting these nice, light little pieces right here. And it's okay that they're all falling down because they're falling down right where I am. So if I needed to make a fire, and I'm at a campsite and this is what I have, I can do this. I can sit here all day long and just do this, and it's all going to fall, boop, right there. So everything that I need is right below me. So I just push it together and make my fire. Very, very nice. Oh, wow. Wow, we found its purpose. With the weight behind this blade and the grind angle on it, it's a, uh, it's a really good chopper. A really good chopper. Just turning it in circles, coming down on it. The thing... Uh, the thing does really well. Let's see if we can't chop through a round piece. When I say let's see if we can't, I mean, hey, we're about to chop through a round piece. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. All right. So I think we need to go uh, knock down a one-inch forest tree. Hold on. All right. So you can see the remnants of the snow we had here. It is cold and windy and nasty. Let's see, I'm just going to hold you guys up. I should be able to pack this no problem. The problem is it moves. When you hit with the steel, it's going to shift. But if I hit it with a flick of the wrist, see that clean cut? 
it should be okay. And I didn't swing. I did not bring my arm back. I just did this, right? Look at that. Just a flick of the wrist. Boom. 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 So, um, what do we know about it? This thing is like having a, uh, it's like having a, look at the bad dogs. We're supposed to be in the yard. Get in the yard. Get in the yard. Get in the yard. Get in the yard. <laughs> it's pretty sad when you're a dog and a human runs faster. All right. So, let's see here. We need to, uh, we need to make something happen with this guy. So, so far, I got to say, Brody, Wisconsin Edge. Um, this thing is a worker, man. It's like having a, uh, it's like having a hatchet. It's like having a hatchet shaped like a knife. And uh, to me, that's cool because I like it. I like big, brawny, mean, nasty pieces. All right, so I've got a small log sitting right there. It's only about a 10-inch disc. Let's see if we can't find it with this blade here. Let's see. Oh! That's a way to rattle a, a handguard, which hasn't come loose yet. I'm pretty surprised about that. Oh, <laughs> I missed. <laughs> That's the problem with such a tiny target. All right. We got to get a hit here because it's too cold to be standing out here. There we go. Here we go. So, not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Brody, over at Wisconsin Edge, check out his channel. See the stuff that he's bringing out because he's putting out um, a, a, some knives you might have seen, but he's putting out a bunch of knives I bet you haven't seen. Uh, the guy gets some pretty cool stuff. He puts it out. And um, he's a good dude. He's a good... This has not moved. Look at the seal on that right there. That's good. There's no shifting in the pins. No, nothing. Remember, it is true, uh, full, uh, true full tang construction. I got to say, man, Brody, this thing's a little winner, man. This thing is a winner. So get over. Check out Wisconsin Edge. Check out the Sawmill Cutlery Arkansas Bowie. Uh, the thing works if you know the Cisco, but you think the Cisco is too ugly for you to own Get something that works the same way, but prettier This guy right here. This guy right here can get it done. This is a good blade and again Check out Wisconsin edge Go subscribe The guy will show you some stuff that you're gonna want to see if you're a blade guy. You're gonna dig Brody so speaking of digging a blade guy I'm Donnie B all day, but until next knife.